So today we have another declutter and I was thinking, let me lift this up, of going through my powders. I have two bins here of powders and also setting sprays. I have a couple setting sprays that I'm not using so we're going to declutter some. And of course a lot of lip liners that I have here. So just in this case, it's just the top drawer here. We have full of lip liners. So we're gonna go through them and see what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not gonna keep. But yeah, let's get started. So let's start with powders. You guys like my nails? I just got them done, me and my daughter. We got some white pearl type of nail. It's so pretty, I love it. Anyways, okay. So these are the powders we're going to talk about today and see how we're going to declutter. Let's start with this one right here from Kosas. You guys can see how the packaging is broken. It smells like chalk and this is something I'm going to get rid of. Um, never really enjoyed it. Never did anything for me. I don't know. This is not a good product in my opinion, unfortunately. Uh, I haven't been that lucky with Kosas. Same with the brow products. Not really good brow products. In the end, they turn out not so good. But yeah, this is not a good product in my opinion. So this has to go. Let me grab a basket here. Okay, so we're going to put everything we're going to declutter in this box here. Uh, here's another one. This I got from... Uh, Boxy Charm and it's Ofra. Ofra is really good. Like the powder is not bad. Unfortunately, they sent me a yellow one, so I can't really use this at all. It's quite quite yellow. So yeah, and that's why I have to declutter this one as well. It's a banana powder. Yeah, and the closest one was in Breezy Cloud Set. Let's move on to this. This is by uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Uh, yeah, so it's a loose setting powder. It's in translucent. However, like look how much product comes out. And this doesn't look translucent at all on my face. Unfortunately, it looks quite yellow. So for that reason, I have to declutter this one as well. Okay. Moving on to a Makeup Forever. Now, this is similar to the Wet n Wild. However, this is translucent. The packaging is much better. You can see that not a lot of product comes out. But the product, it doesn't, even though it looks darker in here, is not yellow on the face. This actually smooths your skin and perfects your skin. So this is something I'm going to keep. Okay, let's move on to this powder, OPV Beauty London Translucent Powder. This one came in a boxy charm as well. I don't know. Um, it's not a bad powder. I just haven't gravitated towards it. So I'm going to declutter this and give this maybe to my daughter. So this go in my daughter pile. Let's see. Um, Makeup Forever. Wow. This is so old. This is probably before I started my YouTube channel. Makeup Forever Professional Setting Powder. Now this has a little bit of shimmer in it. It's, you can see the shimmers in it. It's, it's a good powder. It's very nice, but it's very shimmery. So I don't know what I was thinking, or maybe this is just good for your body to put all over your body if you are wearing a dress and you're going to a party. But for the face, I would not recommend this because it's quite shimmery. Powder, shine on powder it's called. Yeah, and it's quite old, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Physician's Formula um, packaging is kind of like broken. It doesn't close anymore. This is the Physician Formula Transition Translucent Powder. I love the packaging, it's cute, and I think, does it open on the other side? No. Yeah, no. So I haven't used this one so much. The cap doesn't close very good anymore. I don't know. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Sunscreen. It has sunscreen SPF 30, which is interesting. I'm going to put it in my daughter's pile. I haven't used this one in a while. She can play with those. 
Okay, let's start with this one. This is the Jouet Cosmetics. And this is a beautiful powder. Again, this has very nice um, smoothing finish on the face. This is in the shade Fair and it's quite pretty. It's very light and I'm gonna keep this one. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. I don't know what's going on. This, this is just peeling off. So I don't like the packaging, but the formula is good. So I'm keeping this one. Here's another one. I'm keeping my Rare Beauty. This is the Rare Beauty setting powder in the shade Light. This is a beautiful powder. I love the packaging as well. It's created very smart where you can just open it, use it here, and then lock it so that your product doesn't spill everywhere. I love the shade. It has more of a nice light pink undertone. So it's a beautiful product, so I'm keeping it. Okay, my obviously my Pat McGrath under eye powder. I'm keeping this one. This is a translucent powder. You see how much I've used it. I hit pan. So I'm keeping this one. This is good all over the face, under eye as well. Everything's gone. I've been using it so much. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I have two by Charlotte Tilbury, so I don't know why I bought two. I have this one in the shade uh, One Fair, and this one is in the shade Fair Medium. Now let me show you, which is I find very interesting here. So we have One Fair and Fair Medium. What do you guys think? This is One Fair and Fair Medium. Very nice powders. The one fair obviously is darker. This is translucent, which is fair medium, but they're really good pop powders. I love both of this and I'm keeping both. And my Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder, definitely keeping this one. This is a beautiful powder. It Even if it hardens here, it's okay. You can like scrape it off and still use it. This is a beautiful powder, so I'm keeping it. This is another very old one. This is by Almay Smart Shade. This is a skin balancing pressed powder uh, in the shade 010 Light. This is quite old in my collection, so I think I'm just going to declutter it. There's no point. Wow, look at that. Picks up the powder really nicely. So yeah, I'm going to declutter this one only because it's old, but it's a really nice powder from the drugstore. Uh, another one from the drugstore, the Fit Me by Maybelline. This is a matte powder. Um, it's in the shade 100. I think I had this one for quite some time too. Uh, normal to oily skin. I think I'm going to declutter it only because it's quite old. You see how much I used it, but this is because it was the only powder in my collection. I rarely use powder because I have dry skin. Uh, let's see. Now, I have two by Laura Mercier. Let's see. And they're both translucent. I don't know why it looks a little, one looks a little bit lighter than the other, but this is 9.3 grams. This is five grams. So these are really good for traveling. And yeah, these are really good powders. I gave a mini to my daughter because I had another one that's smaller. And this is the same. Yeah. So I'm keeping both of this. These are really good powders too. They look really nice on my skin. So these are staying. Uh, CoverGirl. This is the Instant Wrinkle Blurring Press Powder in the shade Translucent. You know what? It's a good powder, but I have some favorites here, which I'm going to love more than this. And I'm going to give this to my daughter. So it goes in my daughter pile. Same with this one, CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I have two by CoverGirls. This is in the shade 100 Translucent. I love my translucent powders. And I really love the pink and the packaging. But yeah, I'm not going to use this much, so I'm going to give it to her. They're not old. They're quite new. Now, I want to have some from the drugstore. This is the NYX one, the HD Studio of Photo, Photogenic Powder. This is again in the shade SFP01, which is quite white. You see? 
very similar to the Pat McGrath one, but it's uh, not a pressed powder. So uh, should I, I think I'm going to keep this to have one from the drugstore. This is really good. So I'm keeping this one. I'm going to have to let go of this one as well. The Annabelle Perfect Matte Powder in the shade Translucent. Very similar to the CoverGirl one. Barely used it. So I'm going to give this to my daughter if she wants it. And this is uh, Boom X. It's quite dark, but it's very nice powder. It's kind of like a foundation powder, but unfortunately I have, it's a little bit too dark for my skin, as you can see. So I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep the rest. This is the Sephora one. This is a good powder. Oh, what happened here? This is in the shade Light. So I'm keeping this one. This is a beautiful pressed powder, very affordable at Sephora. So I'm keeping this one. I'm keeping my e.l.f. one. This is good for traveling. This is a dupe for the Pat McGrath one for this one right here. So this is a very good powder from the drugstore, affordable. And we have three here, by one by Huda Beauty, Givenchy, and Givenchy. So I'm keeping my Huda Beauty in the shade, cup, in the shade Cupcake. I love this powder so much. Is very similar in packaging to the Givenchy one. However, it doesn't have the quadrants. So it's the nice pink one. And it has the mash inside there, which is a very smart idea. So not a lot of product comes out. So I love this one on my face. I'm keeping it. If I were to choose one, I would choose just the Givenchy and Huda Beauty. They're perfect. And of course my Pat McGrath. Then I have the Givenchy in the shade one. Pastel. I love this one with all these colors inside. Very good. And here's another one that's really good, the Givenchy in the shade 3, which has more of the pinks inside, which is good. Very good for brightening your under eye area too. So these are staying. Okay, so let's put this back in the pile here. Let's see how many we have if we can fit them all in here. Let's see how we can fit this in here. I have to remember I had one on my desk, so these are staying, I think. Which one did I have on my desk? Oh, yeah, this I have on my desk in my um, Shop My Stash for this month, so I'm going to keep that there. But look, we can fit them all in one spot here. Pretty. Okay, so this is all we're keeping, and we're getting rid of this ones and this ones. So these are all decluttered powders. So these are gonna go to my daughter, and that's gonna go in a garbage pile. Okay, so let's start with setting sprays. This is gonna be pretty fast here. I have another one by L'Oreal, which I already gave to my daughter, but. This is going to be easy. This is what I'm keeping, my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Spray, the best one ever. So this is staying. My Milk One, I don't know. You know what? It's quite used. I think I'm going to give this to my daughter for now. I'm not using this anymore. Okay, so this goes to my daughter's pile. Where are they? Let's make a pile here. Uh, next one, do we finish this? I actually really love so I think I'm gonna keep this one still my Milani make it last setting spray this is a really good one this is staying <laughs> oh what is this oh this is a primer a milk primer so this has to go in my primers um, my elf stay all night micro fine setting spray this is one of the best from the drugstore I really love it that and this one too the elf dewy setting spray this one, the pump is not so good, so keep an eye on the pump. It kind of sprays a lot, but the product is really good. I'm keeping that, and I'm keeping my Urban Decay setting spray till I finish all of them. Then I'm only going to repurchase my Charlotte Tilbury. Just adjusted the light a little bit so it's not so bright. So I'm keeping all of this right here, and my Charlotte Tilbury is sitting on my desk, so 
these are my setting sprays I'm using with liner. So let's start with the Melt Cosmetics one, Perfect Pencil Lip. I swatched them all here and they are one of the worst pencils I have tried. You can actually use them to like maybe color on paper with them. They are so hard and so tugging on the lips. Like, let me show you this one. Like, I have to push so hard to get that line. It literally hurts my hand. So I'm gonna get rid of this three and I'm gonna keep all of my ColourPop ones in here. This one that I swatched right here, it's a funky color. It's this one right here. I don't know how I'm gonna use this a lot or not, but this is in the shade Absolute Zero, but it's a fun color to own in my collection, just in case I ever need it for any type of fun videos that I do with my daughter. So yeah, these are all staying for sure. Okay, now let's talk about the next lip products here. I don't know what I have, let's see. Let me kind of organize them first. Okay, so here are my Morphe lippies. Uh, these are great lip pencils. Let me take one out. So they're like wooden pencils and they are very beautiful to work with. Soft, but not too gel-like, like the ColourPop, but not hard to tug. Beautiful shades, I bought all neutral shades. I have a video testing out all of these products. Yeah, the lids sometimes tend to come out, so be careful, don't, don't bring this in your purse. This is not a pencil you wanna bring in your purse because the lids are not very good. However, for the amount you pay for this product, which is like $5 I think I paid for each, is just an amazing lip liner. And here are all the shades I purchased. You can see my favorites are this one, Love Bite. You can see how much I've used it. And this one as well, Bite Me, like the neutral browns. So great, great lip liner. So I'm keeping all of this. Now I have two by Makeup Forever. I have the Endless Cacao and Anywhere Caffeine. I love Anywhere Caffeine. I don't love Endless Cacao as much. It's still an okay product. I think it pulls too gray, but I'm still gonna keep it because they're quite expensive and I spend money on it. However, um, I've seen people talk about this on YouTube a lot. Not, not like they're not bad, but I don't think that they deserve the hype that they have. There's just not, they're not as smooth as the Morphe ones. I don't know. They're just, they're okay. It's kind of like, I, I love the design of them, the wooden design, but you can see it's not something I gravitate towards, but I'm still gonna keep them because I spend money on them. I was influenced by some YouTubers as well to buy this. So I kind of regret it, but you know, now that I have it, I don't wanna get rid of it because I spent my money on this. So I'll keeping those. Okay, so I have a couple more. Let's see here. This is Basic Beauty Cocoa Lip Liner. And I think I got this in a boxy charm. Ooh, it's actually very smooth. Now this is even nicer and smoother than the Makeup Forever, so definitely keep. I have to, it got lost in my collection. I have to use this more. You can see how much I love this one by Milani. This is in the shade 04. The All Natural Milani Lip Liner. Look at that nice nude brown peach, I love it. So I think I'm going to keep this, I mean, not I think, I know I'm going to keep this one as well. So definitely keeping it and repurchasing. Now here's another one I got influenced to buy, the One Size Beauty. I wanna own something by one size and this is the Lip Snatcher in the shade Shy But Fly. I love the name and it's okay, it's not bad, it's quite nice and creamy. Oh look, it's very similar to the Milani one. So I'm keeping it, it's not a bad product. It's just very little you get, but it's not too gel-like to finish it fast. So I'm keeping this one. Okay, ooh, here's one by Tower 28. I just picked this one up. And this is quite dark, very nice and soft. And this is in the shade Draw Me. 
a beautiful brown, dark brown. So I'm keeping this one as well. Huda Beauty, this my mom got for me, the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Bombshell. I love the color, but you can see the top keeps coming off. It's like the lead inside broke in multiple pieces. It's a nice color, but not a super big fan of this color on my lips. But I'm keeping it because I got this as a gift from my mom. And I want to finish it. This is one I got in a boxy charm. This is the Dragon Beauty Lip Liner in the shade. It doesn't have a shade, but it's this brown one, which is a super nice nude brown right here. I love the color. So and it's a big pen, so you get a lot of product here. And I love the design. So I'm keeping it. Moonlit. What is this? Wow, this is a nice red one. This is another product that I got, I think, in a boxy charm. It's quite pink, very interesting moonlit liner. And this is in the shade mm, number 49. By what's the company? I think it's moon, moonlit right here. That's the company name. I'm keeping this one too, even though it's a color that I don't wear as often, but it's a very nice formula. And I'm keeping all of my BK Beauty lip liner. So these are the shades that they sent me. And they are very pretty. I love them all. I can quickly swatch them for you. But I don't like the mechanism. Again, I'm not a big fan of this uh, twisters because some don't work. Let me see which one is it that's kind of funky. Yeah. Like they don't twist back. See, this doesn't go back anymore. So ugh, I don't like those. The formula is beautiful from BK Beauty. I hope they still make this. I'm not sure. But you can use this lip liners as lipsticks as well. My favorite is this last one probably. And the first one, the two nudes. We have Warm Spice, which is my favorite. This nude brown. Then we have Alter Ego, which is this burgundy red. The next one is Pink Lady. Very nice neutral pink. And the last one, which is another favorite of mine, is Sweet Pea. These are my last ones here. Let's pick this one up. This is in the shade Latte. Oh, basic. Here's another one in the shade Latte. Oh, it's another beautiful color. Again, this I got in a boxy charm. I love this ones. Better than the Makeup Forever ones, for sure. So I have the two shades now. You see how beautiful they are. Here's one by NYX. This is NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Beige. I don't know. Let's see. This again, um, yeah, it's okay. It's a very nice nude with a little bit of satin finish like. Very beautiful color actually. I haven't used this one in a while, so I'm keeping it. Not a lot of declutter here. Here's another NYX. NYX in the shade Free Spirit. I love my NYX products for sure. This is beautiful too, you can see. Very nice brown nude. Here is another NYX one. Wow, I've used this one a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is NYX in the shade Nude Truffle. Look at the, every time I put this back in the, with the cap, it bends like this. But let's see how this one looks. Yeah, so this has to go. You can see it's a beautiful shade, but it doesn't... I have to push quite hard. I don't want to let it go though. I'm not going to let it go because I think after I got rid of that top layer that was coming off, it actually swatches nice. It is, the formula is a little bit more, not as soft as the other two by NYX that I'm keeping, but I love the shade and that's why I'm keeping it. Again, look, uh, you know what? I'm getting rid of it because look, every time I put it in, it causes that. So because of that, I'm getting rid of it, unfortunately. Here's a Sephora one, Sephora Contour uh, Round Gel Lip Liner. And this is, what shade are you? 26, a little rusty. This is made in Korea, so very nice and soft. Beautiful, I love the shade. I love the shade and I actually love the formula. Yes, Kona, you're trying to come here? Okay, come, come sit down, sit down. So I'm keeping that one. Okay, good girl. 
So Kona's right here. You're probably going to see her little hair in the background. Okay, no licking, Kona. So I am keeping all of my Essence lip liners. These are so beautiful. And the shades I have, they're twisty ones, but they're actually, the mechanism works really nice. Where can I swatch them? Okay, sit down. So I'll swatch them right here. Beautiful shade. This is in the shade and they're eight hour lip liners. Let me find the shade. Oh, it's here. Oh, three. So default and it comes with a sharpener at the end. The next one, which is more of a darker one. This is in the shade. I am shook it. They're all waterproof. These are the best lip liners you can get from the drugstore. Look at that beautiful wine color. Pink that. Let's try the next one. Nice mauvey pink. Keeping this one as well. And this is in the shade 04 Keep Receipts. Right here. The shades are right here on this paper, which I don't like, but... You know what? They're too good to be thrown away just because the shade is here. And this is 01 Because Duh, which is my top favorite out of them all. A very nice nude for a little bit of hint of pink in there. So these are all staying for sure. And here are my last three. And this is Wet and Wild in the shade... Ooh, Lay Down the Mauves. Again, it's one of those twisty ones, but the mechanism actually works. So here's Lay Down the Mauves, very beautiful. I'm keeping it. These are the best from the drugstore. Here is a cover girl, twisty, not a very good one, just like the BK Beauty ones. Very nice neutral brown. So I said the, the shade is, yeah, caramel nude in this one. And then here is by L'Oreal. The shade I have is Beyond Pink. This is a nice one too. It's quite light. Do I need this one? I'll keep it for now. But yeah, here it is. It looks pretty nice. So yeah, here are the ones all swatched. I guess I'm keeping a lot. So I only got rid of four, which are a NYX one and the Mel Cosmetic ones. Oh, these are horrible. They're on, they were on sale, so that's why I bought them. Okay, so ColourPop lippies are staying, these are staying, and the declutter today from powders, setting sprays, um, and lippies. This is what we're going to declutter and get rid of, and we're keeping the rest. Oh, and also this one, which this one actually goes to, this one actually all goes to my daughter, the setting spray and the rest of the powders. I hope you guys really enjoyed this declutter. Yeah, it's fun to do this type of videos and start fresh and get rid of stuff that I don't use. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye. I don't want nobody stabbing